Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Okay, speaking of helping the blacks, will you hear Donald Trump talking about what happened to Stephon Clark in Sacramento? Hell no. Of course, two officers, uh, the DA that decided they were not going to file charges against those two cops. Ever since, folks, uh, this that decision came down over the weekend. Ever since, uh, you've had massive protests all across Sacramento in white neighborhoods and city council. This was last night in the Sacramento City Council where things got a little heated with black protesters. But here's the deal. But watch, watch, watch how, watch how the cops also treat them. Roll, roll please, roll please. Now, folks, this is, of course, video again showing uh, a protest in a uh, white neighborhood. And, you know, folks are like, okay, you'll see how many cops are out there. That's a hell of a whole lot of cops uh, for not really uh, a lot of people. Now, uh, check this out. Last night, of course, uh, they were at the city council. Go to my iPad, please. This is the video here at the city council. Now, I want to show you something. Now, I want you to watch. He's black. Watch the cops respond, but watch how they back off when the people who are not black come around him. Do you see how, how it changes? Now, I have never seen white cops not jump in and snatch folks and arrest them, Joseph, but they would have had to go through white and Asian protectors. Not only that, but you saw the white woman jumped up on the podium. They snatched the black brother off, left her alone, and it, all their attention was on him and not her. I mean, it's emblematic of what we've seen across. Well, it's a hell of a strategy, by the way. Well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really good. <laughs> it's smart. It's allyship too. That's smart. Well, and also, you know, in 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 Sacramento, we've had these problems for years. I mean, it's nothing new. And you know, to see that you have white people come in, it just creates such a stark image where they're going to go after the black people but leave the white people alone. Yeah. Also, I think it's an interesting strategy for them to go protest in white neighborhoods, shut down a Tony shopping mall, and try to bring this fight to their doorstep. Uh, Teresa, the protests continue. You have people who are, who are, again, demanding justice. 84 folks have been arrested, pastors arrested, they even detained reporters as well. And so uh, I've got emails from people, I've gotten tweets from people, and I, one person hit me on Instagram saying, you know, what do we do? And this is where if you do not take this anger and channel this into voter mobilization and activation to elect a new DA, to elect new city leaders, this continues. Yeah, so the community organizers and those on the ground are really going to have uh, a opportunity here in order to strengthen that community. As you said, people, yes, in that video, they looked irate, they looked passionate, uh, but more so they, it looked like they just want to be heard. So I think, you know, uh, outside in those communities from the pastors, from some of the community leaders, the ones that got the camera phones in their hands, those are the ones that, um, that probably two or three leaders that, are, that, that know most of those people need to really galvanize that base because yep. honestly this can go into a step two this can also go into uh, uh, uh an unnecessary fall uh for another african-american male and i don't want to see it like that um nor should it get like that if we all um start to look at our, our current resources look at our leaders that's on the grassroots level and say, listen, you need to step up, you need to speak out, and it needs to be louder now more than ever. All right, folks, back to our Roland Martin unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, calling all HBCU alumni, students, and leaders into the Ford Motor Company HBCU Mobility Challenge and win 25000 bucks for your school. Building on their long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant of up to $25,000 to implement the proposal. The deadline to apply is March 31st, 2019. Go to fgb.life. That's fgb.life for more info and to apply. Ford goes further in our community. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.